It is written on page 367, volume 1, of the two book, Ayun al Hikayat, which is a book that's published by Maktab al Madina. It states in here that the renowned and blessed personality of the Qadriya Razviya Silsila, spiritual Sufi order, Sayyidina Abu Qasim Junaid Baghdadi Ramutullah Ta'ala stated that I experienced a state of discontent, restlessness and uneasiness one night. I kept myself busy worshipping, but the inner peace and tranquility was very far from me. I struggled to attain concentration, humility and fear, but it was in vain. I then started reciting the glorious Quran, but I still was deprived of inner peace and concentration. What was keeping me awake from the pleasure of worshipping? I wondered about this. Eventually, he says that in the last quarter of the night, I put my mantle on, which is like a, a scarf on my shoulder, and I came out of the house. After walking some distance, I saw a person wrapped in a mantle in a scarf. When I approached him, he raised his head and he asked me, why are you so worried? Has the doomsday taken place? I questioned, has the appointed time of the day of judgment approached? That person replied, no. But I am just asking whether you're going to attain inner peace after experiencing the state of agitation and uneasiness. I responded, yes. I have really come out to attain contentment of heart. And I want to know why. Why I've been attaining it tonight. I then acquired from that person. Do you want anything from me? And he answered in the affirmative. And he said, oh Abu Qasim, is there any situation where the disease itself becomes the cure, the disease becomes the antidote? I replied, yes. There is one such, such situation. Listen carefully. And I said, all diseases of your heart will ward off when you oppose the desires of your nurse, and the same diseases themselves will become an antidote for you. Allah Akbar. Having listened to this, that man took a sigh of relief and he said, I have been answered this question seven times tonight. But I had the strong desire to listen to the answer from you. Allahu Akbar. By the grace of Allah, Azawajal, I have heard it from you, saying that he departed there and was never seen again. Allahu Akbar. Viewers of Muni Challenge, we can see from this that Sayyidina Abu Qasim Junaid Baghdadi Ramatullah Ta'ala, he was a great blessed personality of the Qadriya Razriya Silsila. And he mentioned a great prescription to that person that when he would oppose his carnal desires, when he would oppose his nafs, then all of his spiritual diseases would be removed for him. And the same diseases themselves, they will become the antidotes. I.e., it is learned through that mentioned description that fulfilling the carnal desire and satisfying the lust is a deadly epidemic that fills the heart with the filth of sins. Ponder over this views on the channel. Why is there nothing virtuous that affects our hearts? And we can attain no pleasure in worshipping. You need to ask yourself that why is it that I am not enjoying the ibadah that I'm doing? Why is it that when I'm not, when I'm reading my namaz, I'm not getting the spiritual uplift that we hear about people? We hear that people when they read the namaz, they are completely at content, they appeal at peace, they have tranquility. Why? Why am I not getting this? What is the problem with me? There's something wrong with me. Without doubt, it's not the namaz. Because billions of people are reading the namaz and they're getting the spiritual content, but I'm not getting it. So what is wrong? You know, in the same way that they'll say that, you know, if, if, if I drink tea, if everybody drinks tea, and it upsets someone's stomach, for example, then it's not the tea's fault. It's the stomach's fault. If the person has a bad stomach. In the same way that I need to ask myself that the namaz is there. There's nothing wrong with the namaz. The problem is me. Why am I not getting this spiritual uplift? And maybe, maybe it's because... I'm not controlling my nafs. Maybe it's because I'm following these desires of the nafs. Maybe it's because I'm following all of these lusts. And as a result of that, I'm not spiritually content. Allah Akbar. We love Madani Channel. We love Madani Channel. We love Madani Channel.